Hey, one fact you in tier scene video, going to have a quick look at the bank holiday weekend. We've done four updates so far, so this is the fifth one. They've all looked rather unsettled right from the very beginning of this, uh, this time last week. Um, they have always looked very unsettled. Tonight's is unsettled as well. Uh, so I think we've definitely got the trend, we've got the theme of the weekend, which is that it's going to be a changeable weekend. Won't well, be probably a total washout. We'll be drier intervals in, uh, to times, but uh, overall a pretty mixed weekend coming up. Now, before I get on with that, just want to say about the ads. There's links for articles on all the pages that go so Have a browse your widgets. Any articles that you're interested in, please click free. You'll be able to go over Brebo's articles. Thanks very much for doing that. There's also a video ads for those pages. So you open out with the content, make crows back up again. Uh, give them a watch and thanks for doing that. So we're going to start off with Saturday the 2nd of May, and uh, the idea is that high pressure is well and truly away from the country, where there's no sign of it, and low pressure is dominated by an area of low pressure out to the west, bringing in uh, this westerly, southwesterly wind. It's going to be quite a cold week this week, but at the weekend, I think we're going to find winds shifting more in towards the south and southwest, so it will lift the temperatures up a little bit, it just means we'll go from cold rain to a little bit warmer rain, but uh, that low pressure is in control. You can see from the upper air temperatures that uh, it's still chilly in the north, but uh, things are warming up a little bit down in the south. Um, a lot of heavy rain then coming in to the west and coming up from the south as we go through the day on uh, Saturday. It could be quite uh, wet in many parts of the country, that rain pushing uh, northwards and eastwards all the time and in terms of the temperatures well it's coming out very chilly in the north down into just single figures it's picking up a little bit in the south around 13 or 14 but nothing to write home about of course it'll feel even colder than that under the cloud and rain for uh sunday well low pressure still dominated just the west of the country bringing this westerly to southwesterly flow the upper air temperatures have lifted up so it is less cold or it's a bit milder but look at that there's lots of rain across the country showers along the spells of rain basically yeah, sums up and say it won't be a total washout there is the indication of some drier interludes in there but uh, quite a bit of rain uh, around the country and temperatures have lifted up in toward the middle teens by uh, sunday and then for bank holiday monday itself we find the low pressure still out to the west of the country so still driving in this westerly flow that'll be bringing in showers we'll probably do subsistent rain on this scenario, and the upper air temperatures are cooling off a little bit from the west. So it is a showery scenario as we go through to Bank Holiday Monday. Most of the showers in the west, but some will get through to the east, I'm no doubt about that, on that strong westerly wind. Uh, and temperatures around the mid teens, once again, although it is cooler for Scotland. On this particular update, Bank Holiday Monday is the best of it, really. Still showery, but uh, at least it is a bit drier. The other two days look, <coughs> excuse me, pretty dismal. To be honest, now, of course, it's also a little way off to be talking about uh, the detail on this. So uh, I don't think we can take that too seriously, the idea that bank holiday money is the best, Saturday and Sunday is the worst. Just basically still the idea that it's a very unsettled, changeable bank holiday weekend. And that's been the train right way through, as I say. Um, there's just about probably still time for a flip. But uh, I think this pattern is pretty well locked in, actually. So I don't think we're going to get it. I think we are going to have uh, a changeable bank holiday weekend. But... Uh, uh, it won't be a washout, I don't think. Uh, well, that's it for now. We'll probably do another update on Wednesday, although it's five-day forecast on Wednesday. So uh, maybe only one more update on Thursday evening, but we'll see. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.